Hello friends, my name is Kishan. Welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to add custom data type uh, into array list or set. So let's go ahead and create a Java project in Eclipse. So right click over here, click on new, go to the new options, click on the Java project. Give the project name collection sorry collection with the project name injecting collection with custom now here let me add the spring related jars in my class path so go to the build path configure build path select libraries click on add library select user library click on the next now here is the user library select spring library click finish click on the ok so i have added all spring jars in my class path now let's create a spring configuration file so search for the xml so give the xml name as beans.xml and this is the xml doc type so which i have copied from my existing project now let's create a class it's called package name give the com dot infotech dot uh, arc info sorry package now com dot info dot info and class name I would give arc info so we don't require main method so delete it now I'm going to declare first array data type but at this time I'm going to declare array which will hold the custom data type like a student uh, a student I would give the array name a student arr equal to new a student and array size I am giving 2 so this array may hold 2 a student objects so create this class as well the package name com.infotech.model so here is the class add some property like student id and data type would be which we are taking as integer now similarly next property we have a student name string email and finally we have a property like gender now right click over here go to the source generate setters and getters select all fields click on the ok so we have generated setters and getters for all its property now let's configure XML. So here we have a bean ID. I would give arc info and bean class would be your qualified name of your bean class. So this is the bean class and <coughs> sorry. copy qualified name now this bean has some property so let's add I have added array so let's add some more fields so private uh, list of 
integer a student I'm going to add I would give the name stu list student list control uh, press control shift o for organize import now next next property we have a sorry wrong import is there now next property I'm going to take set set of a student Press Control Shift O for organizing import work from Java dot util dot list and set. Now right click over here, go to the source, generate setters and getters, select all properties. So here we have generated setters and getters for all properties. Now let's configure this guy. Now property we have a three property in our arc info class so copy this times three times now let's start with for first property uh, before that I would like to configure another bin like a student so we have a bin ID ID is I could give a student one and class qualified name of your bean class. Now this bean has a some property right so property name and value. So this line I will this line I'm going to paste four times because this bin has a four property now first property we have a student id so student id i am giving four times one now second property we have a student name so student name i am going to give jimmy email j at the rate gmail.com and finally we have a something is called gender so I have configured one bin of a student so just copy this code snippet and paste it three times I'll give the ID two and this is it, three now here I specify the ID two times four times two and four times three now here I'm going to write shown yes at the red gmail here I'm going to write Tommy here that is gmail.com so I have created three bins of a student class now here let's go to this class and first property we have array so property name equal to you will have to specify the name of the property and this property this array holds the custom data type so we will have to write uh, ref bean equals to we need to specify the student one student two three and a student one I'm trying to add twice now next property we have a a student list this is kind of list so configure this property as well so name of the property is is to you list and now again you can specify so 
sorry so this is kind of array so we will have to specify the array tag right uh, within the array you need to configure ref bin now a student list is a kind of list data type right list collection type so we have a tag list to configure list now here i am going to add all these bins so here again i am trying to add a student one twice now next property we have a kind of set now here to configure set we have a tag like set right set and within this i am trying to add again these four students so intentionally student one i am trying to add twice just i want to check whether set is able to maintain the uniqueness or not press control a again control shift f for formatting so almost we have configured everything in our configuration file now let's create a client program so right click over here go to the here com dot infotech dot client test and here give the name name test select main method here application context new class path small application context and here you need to pass your configuration file name now context dot we have a get bin method and here we need to specify your bin id so bin id is nothing but arc info and class name you need to specify arc info and this will return your business object now let's now we have object of arc info we can call the method of arc info so first of all i would like to iterate array so here is the array and you can make use of the enhance for loop now we can iterate array now a student has a public getter method so using public getter method you can print object state Now next thing I am going to iterate that is type of list. Dot get stu list. Now here we can use enhance for loop again. Student list. You need to specify. Now, the last thing we are going to iterate. That is a type of set. So get a student set. This also we can iterate using enhance for loop. So guys I am running out of time so rest of the things I will explain you next series of video tutorial thank you so much